Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on linked list interview question series and this is question number 15 and I was asked this question in one of my interview and it is really very important question so stay with me till the end okay so let's try to understand what this question says so let's go to the question add two numbers represented by link list and we have let's say 25 then it will be like two and then next to that is five and then next to that is null and if you have 190 meaning one's next is nine nine's next is zero and zero's next is null so like this you will have two link list and then the result should be like 215 but it shouldn't be like in an integer it should be in a link list so two's next is one one's next is five and five next is null so this is what you have to implement okay so let's go to our implementation. So you have 190 and correct. So how we do this mathematically, if we have to add it, then you have to add this. I mean, you have to start from the back. Actually, if you notice this, the formation is one is pointing at nine, nine is pointing at zero, and then it is pointing to null. And then 25 is like two is pointing to five, and then five is pointing to null. And this is your start one, and this is your start so these two are the link list correct but if you notice this you cannot start adding these two numbers because we add from the back so the first thing you will do is you just reverse these two link list so the pointers will get reversed now 9 is not pointing to 0 actually 0 is pointing to 9 and then 9 is pointing to 1 okay so we have first note this one okay this is not valid now and similarly we'll have s2 here and 5 is pointing to 2 and then 2 is actually pointing to some null and this one is pointing to null okay and this is not valid so after reversing you can take s1's content so this is 0 and then s2's content this is 5 you can start adding these two right yeah so let's see how we'll do that we have 0 and 5 answer is 5 carry is nothing carry is 0 so basically we need sum and carry so initially carry will be 0 and let's say sum is also 0 so here carry was 0 and in the end carry was still 0 because 0 plus 5 is not producing any carry and remember here you can write only the last digit of the addition maybe if let's suppose here you had 9 let's just suppose that 9 plus 5 is 14 so you will write 4 here and 1 will become carry here okay so this was just the reminder of your childhood so carry is 0 9 plus 2 is 11 we will write 1 here and then 1 will be carry 1 plus 1 2 then 2 1 5 is the answer so this is what you have to do using this link list so it is very clear that you have to reverse these two link lists and yeah guys there are so many implementation for this particular question i like one of the implementation uh, not my own implementation because i implemented something which was uh, like okayish and had a little more if and else and and stuff but what i'm going to explain you is little cleaner and it is just little more intuitive okay so watch this video till the end so first of all the formula if you want to write then what is going to be the formula so the formula is like sum is equal to your first data plus second data plus carry this is very important okay so this is your sum so if you are adding these two you're not just adding these two you're adding one carry also okay so just remember that and then after doing this you have to update the carry so if carry is reproducible i mean sum is having carry then you can get it like this sum divided by 10 is going to be your carry or you can always initialize carry with one if your sum is greater than nine so that you can do so instead of doing f and all if and all i think this is also okay once you do this you have to update the sum because this sum is what you are going to place here right meaning if this was 9 and 5 we added 9 plus 5 which becomes 14 now you will not place 14 here you will place 4 right so you have to update your sum variable again like sum modulo division 10 this will bring 4 inside sum and 
if you would have got 14 14 divided by 10 is like 4 so now your carry is having 4 and your sum is sorry your carry is having 1 and your sum is 4 so see now we are in correct position okay I mean here we have 1 and here we have 4 that's what we want here right so you will place 4 here and 1 will go carry here so this is how you will form the whole while loop and this while loop till what time it should run so this is the question right so the answer is if you have link list 1 data or link list 2 data or carry present meaning if you have like this 190 was there right 190 you will add 0 with 5 correct and then you will add 9 with 2 whatever it is but you have to add this also with this you will assume it like 0 right so you have to add these three I mean carry this is carry this is your first link list node this is going to be your second link list node if it doesn't exist it will be 0 okay because we have this number here so we have to go till the maximum time whatever the length of the link list is plus if we have carry because this is very special case uh, let me discuss that case also if we have 99 and you want to add 1 to that then you have 9 plus 1 0 carry here 9 plus 1 0 carry here and then you have to add that with 0 and 0 and then carry 1 so this is going to be 1 okay and this was 0 here so this is how it should look like because there is a possibility that you may have to go this extra step even if your link list maximum link list size was 2 you have to iterate it 3 times okay at least do the addition for the for 3 times as you can see this so this is one special case and we have to cater all the cases right so keeping all these things in mind let's see the code implementation so this is your function add to list we'll call this function with first and second link list pointers first we will reverse them see we are reversing the link list and then initializing to the same pointers now it is reversed and we can continue so we'll need these pointers to handle the calculations and i told you right we'll loop till first or second or carry is equal to equal to one or carry exist so initially carry is initialized with zero and see our formula is like this carry plus first data if it exists so this is ternary operator if first exists then i'll take first data otherwise i'll take zero and if second exists then i'll take seconds data and if it doesn't exist i'll take zero so your new value is going to be the sum of carry plus first data and the second data and then it is possible that you had 9 and 5 remember so after adding these two numbers you will have 14 and 1 is the carry and 4 is going to be your number so see we are doing this i'll divide this newly created value which is 14 divided by 10 it will give me 1 so my carry is going to be 1 and then new value is going to be modulo 10 so that i can get this last number and it this number cannot be three digit number because the max you can add is like nine plus nine and this is one and eight okay so your carry at max is always one and your number cannot exceed more than two okay so that's why modulo division 10 you will get this number so carry is one and newly created number is four correct and then we'll create this node dynamically will initialize this new value to this node's data and then this is a very important code actually you know that right we have reversed these two link list and if it is like this one nine zero two and five so we had reversed it so zero was pointing to nine and then nine was pointing to one right and then five was pointing to two like this it was right so if you will add these two zero and five it will be like five 9 and 2 is going to be your next node right which is 1 and then 1 will go to carry here and that is going to be 1 so this will look like this but actually you want it in a reverse way you want 1 1 5 so in the end also you have to reverse the list but you can get away 
with that reverse if you do this step. So this is one extra step if you do not want to reverse in the end. So whatever new node you add, that should act as the start point, right? So if you forget this, and if you look at this, see, we added and created this node first and this node second and this node was last node, right? And if we can say this is my first node, then we are done, right? We don't have to reverse this link list and it's really very good. So see what exactly what we are doing here. We are saying that, okay, I created this new node, right? Whatever the sum was before, I want to initialize that sum to the next of my newly created node, okay? So let's suppose you had already created this and you are going to create this. Obviously you will create one after five, right? So sum was initialized with five. See, with this new node is going to be sum, right? So sum is this for, for this time instance and you created this new node here. So you will do once next is your sum. So basically you are doing one is pointing to five so because of this only. And next time you will create this node and that time this is not the current actually this is your new node and your sum is now here because we'll update that sum with the new node what you created last time okay so last time was created here and this is your sum and this is your newly created node so again you will say my newly created node next is going to be sum so sum is this right so you will have one here and in the end you will return sum so you're returning this only so this is how you can save yourself from reversing a link list in the end. So after doing this, you can check if your first exist, then only you go and do first is equal to first next. And if second exists, go for second is equal to second next because you have to iterate over the link list, right? What you created here. And this small tiny loop will take care of everything. And once you are out of this, you just simply return this sum. And wait a minute, actually I did not use this previous and this head also. So forget about these two variables. Maybe when I was implementing this, I used these two, but then after keep on updating this while loop, I don't need these two pointers anymore. So we just need sum and we're done. So let's quickly see this execution. We have this implementation. I have written this reverse link list code also here. Let's compile this. It compiles successfully. If we'll submit this, yeah, it is solved. So with this, thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos.